Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Just a really quick five minute video here. So I've got this Alto TS215 speaker in for repair. Um, now the guys actually brought two in, one for checking and uh, one for repair. Right, so it's a little bit dark in there so I'll show you the one um, that I've already stripped down. Uh, that's it there, Alto TS215. Um, now the customer said the input uh, on number one is a lot lower than it is on two. Uh, input one's lost a lot of its sensitivity. Um, now I did try this with a jack. Um, I put a jack socket, a plug in there, and I found out if I messed about with a jack plug, I could actually get the volume to come up. So I automatically assumed it was this socket that was faulty. Um, so I've desoldered the socket. Um, what? How many pins on there? Quite a few. Um, but then I had a great difficulty finding this socket. Um, but then I've been looking at this, and then just by chance, I've actually realised what the problem is, and it's not this socket at all. It's a red herring. Um, so let me just show you. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get, because um, you can't really tell by looking at here, um, I'll just get my phone to magnify it and we'll um, take a look at that. Right, so there we go, there's a better picture. So you can see where I've removed the socket. Uh, just underneath the socket, there's four Zener diodes. And if you look at ZD1, get this back on again if you look at ZD1 and ZT2 uh, they've actually got very very hot and burnt the board uh, and L3 that little inductor that looks like it's got hot um, now I've measured them two uh, diodes and they are actually short circuit so let's have a look at the diagram and uh, get some data on them But they're very, very small. You can see how I, I missed that the first time when I was looking. Right, so that's the diagram, ZD1, ZD2. As you can see, uh, they're just connected between the input and ground. Um, so you can't overload the amplifier. Uh, so the fact that these two have gone short circuit means somebody's put too much signal in it. Um, now the little inductor, I could probably find one of them. Uh, but the diodes I hadn't got in stock at that order especially. So that's the part number there. Uh, the diodes and MMSZ524A. Uh, the 12 volt. And they've just come in in this box that is nearly uh, half the size of the amplifier itself. And uh, that is all that's in that little box. I got 10 diodes, um, that's what I usually do. If I want to part, I'll get more than I need, and then hopefully for next time I get one in, I'll have it in stock rather than having to order it specially. But yeah, I very, very nearly got caught out on that, thinking that socket was faulty. Um, so if you get one of these speakers in, uh, and your customer complains of uh, low sensitivity on one channel, check them uh, Zener diodes under the sockets there's eight in total uh, these first two here are just for channel one but there you go I said it was a quick video many thanks for watching my channel and I'll catch you in the next one then goodbye